this is insane. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? I'm a postcard. <laughs> yeah, postcard. <laughs> I have a big postcard now. Why am I here? Like oh yeah, my knuckles are white. <laughs> oh, oh. It's like oh. a snow. <laughs> There's snow boats right there. Because <laughs> he got out of the way for me. <laughs> oh, volcanic calderas. Seven was back here. And we came this way. So... Hey, yeah, this is still me. Probably can't really understand me that well. Right now, I am um, snowmobiling up in Montana by Yellowstone. This is my ride. It's a Ski Doo 600. Anyways, yeah, having a lot of fun. There's like a big frozen lake behind me. It's like back there. So far, we've only had one crash, but it wasn't me. It was my mom. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's it right now. Well, sliding down a hill with no goggles is not a good idea. Trust me. Hey, I'm skiing right now. Look at this. This is so fun. I'm about to go back up again. Over there. These are my skis. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they have that for this one? <laughs> um, because this is the beginning of the My hands are so cold. Hey, look, look at this. Look, there's an eagle. They, uh, I like to call them grumpy old men. Yeah. Because they don't, uh, they don't like to hang around with the rest of the, uh, <laughs> the group. to roll down the window? Yeah, you, you should be able to. <laughs> Look at that face. Is that not awesome? <laughs> uh, and that would be, uh, you know, sometime in the, uh, the early Part of the year, February time frame, I think, something along that line. Uh, the last time we were here, it was also the week after Christmas. Maybe second year, but they're they're fairly smaller. They're much smaller compared to the two larger cows. I'm going to pull up just a little bit more, pull over I mean, a little bit in case these guys behind us want to. Uh, he looks like he's coming towards us. Come cool. by. Get a good shot. Yeah. Like Are they nice? I want a nice coyote. He's still coming closer to the to our um. I hope you get to see him do a mouse dive. It's so cool. Have you ever seen that on TV, honey? I think so. With you. Where are you in there? I hope he comes yeah. closer to our SUV. <laughs> Still coming closer. Oh, I'm getting them on video now. I'm in video again. Yeah. Look at, yeah. Him, he's still coming. <laughs> Dang! He's right behind us. Uh, they tend to hang out by themselves. So cool. uh, there'll be typically one of these uh, cows will be uh, uh, kind of the matriarch of the group. And uh, this one may well be it. Uh, she'll lead and the others will start to, to follow. 
That's cool. I'm not, am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna say. Look at this little guy right here. He's just barely got some horns. Oh. These two of them right there. Oh. More babies. Just looked through the binoculars and saw his entire nose. <laughs> On top of that restriction until the pressure underneath it finally overcomes that and blows it out as a geyser. <laughs> They're still following us. All right, we're on our way back to the snow coach now. We can't take the little hot springs tour because we're being chased by bison. <laughs> Anyways, that's our snow coach right there. Hey, so we're on a private snow coach tour right now. Um, it's basically this big Chevy Suburban with these cool tracks on it when we're in the snow. We're right by a hot springs right now. Let's get a little segue right here. Over and ices over those boardwalks and makes it really treacherous on days like this where. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the first place. It's like green. Hey, Jordan, can you take a picture for me? Why is it green on the inside? Algae? The uh, algae and all that are growing in that runoff water. Uh, you know, you wouldn't think much would live uh, in 140, 150, 160 so degree uh, water. It's wind pushing us. But it's. Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is uh, because nothing's growing here. But it's uh, springs like this that uh, uh, these uh, areas around and the mats uh, that really give a, a home place for all these bacteria to grow. Uh, back in 1966, they discovered a bacterium that's called Thermus aquaticus. All those colors and, uh, in this water are so cool. One of the things that uh, has happened with that is that it's, it's given us the ability to uh, to replicate DNA strands so that you can dissolving the minerals and all in the water. Mud pots. And then with the water that's that's coming in, you get these gases pushing up from the bottom and you get these bubbling pots of mud. This is actually the mud type that uh, the Crow Indians use to paint uh, on the sides of their teepees with. And that's why they call this artist paint pot. This is kind of a uh, artistic mud, <laughs> yeah. if you will. Can I and, go around uh, that side to take a picture? Of it? Yeah, you can go around that one. They'll plop like that a little bit. And then they'll finally clear out and, and you'll get that big throaty roar of steam coming up from underground. And this is red, dude, uh, iron. Looks like it might have horns. There's an elk over there. No? I saw her, she was walking back in there. cute. I kind of want a wolf, but um, I don't know how well that'd work out. But all these ravens over here are eating out some type of skeleton thing I guess the wolves are feeding on earlier. <laughs> That's nice. They're so cute. Got two brown grizzly bears over here. I kind of secretly want one of those bears to just go and attack one of those ravens. Like those are some brave birds to be in that grizzly enclosure. This is their gift shop.
That's cool. That bear has a mighty back. Oh, he just stopped scratching it too. He was just scratching his back on the tree. <laughs> Maybe this bear would do it. I got a little bit of it. So basically, before they bring the bears out, so basically before they bring the bears out, they have like a trainer come out here and plant food all around the enclosure, and then the bears have to go and try to find the food. They actually um, have like a thing where they let like kids come out here, like 12 and under, to go and um, plant some food around before they let the bears out, and the bears will find their food too. It's really cool.